everyone. Thank you so much for visiting my channel, Lifestyle by Nahama. I'm so excited to have you here today. My special project today is all gonna be about travel mementos and keepsakes. So my husband and I love to travel and I always end up everywhere we go picking up little keepsakes and I've had them in a bag and sometimes they're like little pins or they're coins or dollar pieces or tickets of, of places that we've been to. And so I wanted to be able to save these not only for us, um, but to be able to give to our daughter when she gets a little older. And so what I thought about doing was getting this awesome shadow box here. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby for about 20 bucks. Now the nice thing about Hobby Lobby is if you have their app, you can get on their app and uh, in one item you get for 40% off. So I got this uh, for the 40% off. That coupon is always on there, so I love them. Um, I then found a picture um, online. <clears throat> it's a map of the world and I just had it printed. Um, this was a free printable, so I did not take this from anybody. This was actually um, a free printable that I could get. So I downloaded that and just had it printed at my local Walgreens. Um, and then of course I have all my little knickknacks that I wanna put in here. <laughs> There's my dog Thor making his little appearance. Um, and I got some Elmer's glue because I want to make sure that this is glued down. It's not gonna move from the board inside the shadow box. So the one thing that I really thought was interesting about the shadow box was that when you look at it, not only on the back can you open these little tabbies here and remove it and be able to put things inside, but it also has this neat slit at the top. So when it's hanging, if I have anything that's like, um, you know, like a little ticket size or something like that, I could easily just drop it on in there um, and it would just go in and be fine. I'd have no specific like organization for this inside of here, just because I want this in general to be just everything that we have just fills this box. Um, and so if I was doing something in particular, like just for our London trip, I might put like a London map in the back and pinpoint some of the places that we've been using little pins um, and then putting the items that we had in there maybe uh, glued down somehow or something like that. So if you wanted to do one that was just strictly for a place that you went, you could do that. Um, otherwise, if you want to do for all the places that you guys have been or you have been, um, then you can just do like I'm gonna do and throw it all in one. So I think now that we've discussed this part, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing that I wanna do, like I said a minute ago, um, is I'm gonna open it from the back opening up the little tabs oh, and let me get these little pieces out of the way here. So I'm going to open these tabs now and as you'll see the little paper that came in is actually stuck to the board. Now you have two options. You can either pull this off and stick your um, glue your item down or, or your picture down I mean or you can just glue right on top. What I actually am going to do, because we have um, a more boho look in our bedroom, I'm actually gonna take this off so that I can have this part exposed. I'm not so worried about these little tiny pieces that are here, as you see when I'm pulling it up. And the reason that for that is because the picture that I'm gonna put down will cover all of that, and so I'm okay with that. Um, if you want to take the rest of that off, um, you can get like um, like a little putty knife or something like that and pull them off. Um, and so you have that option as well. You see they just kind of come off. So what I'm gonna do next, I wanna make sure that I pay attention to what side is on the back. So for me, right here is my little hanging piece. So I want to make sure that this is the side that's up um, at the top when I glue my picture down because I don't want to do it upside down and then you got a problem. So making sure that it fits on there and you'll see on mine it has this little bit of a border and I actually like that border. So I'm going to go ahead and put that sticker down. Sorry about that. And I'm going to take this Elmer's glue. Now Elmer's glue is typically safe for pictures, which is why I like to use it. 
Um, but if you're into scrapbooking and things like that, you can easily pick up um, any of the scrapbooking glue and that will be safe for pictures as well. Um, and so I'm not going to be like super duper picky on this glue. I'm just kind of going around. Um, I will say you want to make sure that you get as close to the edges as possible. That way it doesn't get any funky kind of lifting on it. Just go all the way around. Perfect. Now again, making sure I remember which side is up and which side is down. I'm gonna look at my picture here. Because it is Elmer's glue, luckily you don't have to work super duper fast, um, but you don't want to move too slowly. So while this sits and uh, adheres, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this actually on my other table and I am going to put, this will be heavy enough, something like this on top to weight it down to make sure it all sticks nicely. So I have that going now over here. So while that is um, setting, I want to look at the things that I have. Now I have a lot of stuff. We've gone to Mexico, we've gone to the Cayman Islands, um, and we went to London um, so far. <laughs> And so I have picked up um, some little pins from London. I picked up this cute little knight in armor. Um, I have coins from Henry VIII and Queen Elizabeth I, which I'm so in love with them. Um, I do have some tickets here from going to places. Here's some dollars from different locations we've been. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, this is Fortress Palace Prisons. These are top things to do. <laughs> um, but as you see, I can go through all of these things, oops, as I drop stuff, and decide what I want to keep and what I don't. Um, I typically like to bring home anything and everything that we have done. That way I can decide later what exactly I want to do. Um, and so, like our tickets to Stonehenge, and the dungeon and all these little pieces. Um, this is actually really cool. This is a postcard from, uh, uh, excuse me, Kensington Palace. Um, the London tube map, I don't think I need that. Uh, Tower of London map, probably not. Uh, Kensington Palace admission tickets, I for sure wanna keep those. Um, this giant map of London, probably not. Um, these, not so intrigued with for now. I'm telling you, I have tons and tons and tons of stuff. Um, let's see. And some of these things, I may do something else with later because they are larger. Um, I did, so I'm a little bit of a weirdo, um, but when we were in London, um, Notre Dame caught on fire, and so I grabbed the paper, um, from when we were there, and then the other big thing that was going on was the Extinction Rebellion, um, and they are climate change protesters, and they, they were wreaking a lot of havoc, so... Um, those are the two big things, so I kept those. So, in, in like my Wicked playbook, um, these kinds of mementos I like to keep, you know, in a big box um, versus something like this. So that's why I wanted to keep more of the smaller type items. Um, we also got to go to Windsor Castle. We went to um, all kinds of places we swam with. Uh, what did we swim with? We swam with dolphins. We swam with stingrays. We swam, uh, played with turtles. Um, I found this amethyst in the city of Bath, um, which is really cool. That was a, a former Roman um, colony. Um, I've got lots of coins here. Um, not shown in here. I actually have a little camel 
from when we went zip lining in Mexico that has all of our pictures on it. So that's going to go in here. Um, I have way more stuff, so I didn't really have enough room for all that right now. Um, so I just brought some things in here to show you. So, um, what I'm going to do is like these little pens that are really cute. I'm going to go ahead and take them off. Um, they're little cards here. And take my little night out. Get it? Night out. Ha ha ha. I know my jokes are really, really bad. My husband and my best friend laugh at me all the time because it's not that they're laughing at my jokes. They're really laughing like at me because my jokes are just that bad. Um, so here's my little night. Put that stuff over there. I have all my coins here. Now, like I said, I'm not going to worry about having this be perfect as I set everything in here. I want to um, just kind of place it all. Um, these coins, I'm actually going to do backwards so that you can see the actual coin and drop all this stuff in. Now, the one thing I am wanting to make sure that I'm doing when I put this stuff in here is that I am placing it face down so that it can actually like be seen um, because you don't want, what is this? Oh, <laughs> it's my rail card. I was like, I don't know what this is. Um, so I'm gonna make sure all these, now the little pieces, I'll probably wanna make sure that they're in the front, these larger tickets uh, toward the back. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my pins my little knight, my Stonehenge stuff. I'm just gonna chunk all this in there. I'm going to go get the other pieces that I wanna put in here and I'll be back. So I started going ahead and putting more pieces in here. I'm gonna put my change in there. My other tickets in here. Oh, you know what? Before I put the tickets in, I also have, oops. These uh, bills that we've gotten from different places. Um, I love them. I think they're freaking cool. Just throwing those in there. Let's see. I wanna make sure that it doesn't get too full just in a couple of trips. So I'm only gonna do one for him, uh, Hampton Court and one for Kensington Palace in here. I think that, you know what? And I'm gonna take off this little tabby too. Cause I feel like I don't need the little tabby. Now I know that this looks crazy and it's not really making any sense, but once I set this up, it's all kind of gonna fall and it'll do its own thing. And then we can just kind of go from there. Um, oh, you know what? Let me scratch off this little sticker from the amethyst cause we don't want the price tag to be seen. Ha ha ha. Um, that in there. Now I'm going to remove what I had holding the picture down. And as you can see, it's now setting in there nicely. I'm gonna put my top back on here. Oh, let me get, oh, what am I doing? I almost forgot my Windsor Castle. All right, there we go. Crisis averted. I know it seems kind of cheesy, right? Um, and I'm putting all my little tabbies back. And then I'm gonna gently pick this up, shake it around if you like. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like these little pieces are totally working, but the bigger pieces aren't. Um, let's see. I pile all the money in one side. Um, let's try that. And then
So I feel like we're getting closer. <laughs> oh dear God. Maybe, I feel like this shouldn't be so difficult. Like it's just stuff to throw in here, but I feel like there still has to be like some sort of, I don't know, rhyme or reason for it all as well. Um, maybe if I, fold up some of the dollars so that it's not sticking out quite as much maybe let's try and maybe And I'm folding them right at the line so you can see like where where we went, um, but not worrying about the crown. But I want to keep the ticket together. Let's see about let's try that. Okay, so that's definitely a lot better, more kind of how I wanted it. You can see there's our camel from when we went zip lining. You can see some of the money and stuff we've gotten, our tickets. You can see over here is a little amethyst. Some of my, like my little guard is right in there, or my knight I mean. Um, and so, oh, you know what? That wasn't it. Where is he? Oh, there he is. I was like, I knew I saw him. He's actually right hidden in that little corner. Oh, there you can see him. Um, and so there's also the pins there. Um, and so I think this is a much better layout. So it's still again thrown in there and looks nice, but it's not, um, where you can't see things. Um, and I could always, you know, kind of shuffle it around and, and pieces will fall. Um, but I think it's really cool. I, I like this and I'm super excited to hang this up on the wall. So if you really enjoyed checking out this DIY project, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe and like this video. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.